What? Hold on. Okay. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Blair and today I am going to react to the Halloween Ends trailer that just dropped. I don't wanna say that this came out of nowhere, but it kinda did. I expected that it would be released this month, but a lot of people were speculating that it was running a little bit late and that it wouldn't come out until early August. We were all wrong. We were all wrong. My whole entire filming schedule has been put on hold to do this reaction video for you guys because of course, if you guys didn't see my last reaction video to the Halloween Kills trailer, I am a huge, gigantic, enormous fan of the Halloween franchise. And I'm really excited to see what this last installment will have in store for us. If you guys watched my Halloween Kills trailer reaction, I did talk a little bit about how unhappy I was with Halloween 2018. I just did not like it whatsoever. Having said that, I did enjoy Halloween Kills a little bit more. I don't want to get into that too much in this video because I could just rant on and on about the things I liked and didn't like about it. I have been meaning to upload a review for Halloween Kills, but I wasn't sure if anybody wanted to see that. So if you guys do want a late review of Halloween Kills before Halloween Ends comes out, I'd be very happy to finally film that for you guys because I have been planning it for quite a while, but I just wasn't sure if that's something you wanted to see. So if it is, let me know in the comments below and I will work on that for you. But today, today is the day. I am so ready. I put myself in the full Halloween mood. I have the most summer ween thing you could drink. You just get a huge dose of summer and fall in a bottle and I just can't even take that right now. Just having a good old summer ween drink, wearing the most beautiful fall fragrance of all time. I'm burning a leftover pumpkin spice candle that I have pumpkin pie, excuse me, a leftover pumpkin pie candle that I have from last season. And yes, I'm super stoked to react to the Halloween Ends trailer, so let's just jump right into it. This better be good, you guys, because I have got high standards. I have got high standards. so short what hold on okay <sighs> that was way too short so as everyone was speculating they actually weren't ready to release a trailer at least i don't think so unless this was their goal and i don't understand why it would be but are you telling me that this trailer was a minute and 16 seconds long and all they really showed was probably the biggest fight or what we assume to be the one of the bigger final fights of the film of the series, of this particular part of the franchise. Are you serious right now? They really did that. They really just put the one-on-one -on -one fight between him and Lori in the trailer. Unless, unless it's a dream. No, because that would be too much of a stretch to put that in a trailer. People would be so pissed. They would be so pissed if the trailer was just a dream from the film. They did do that slightly for H2O's trailer, if I'm not mistaken. I remember when it came out for the first time, like we were watching, I think Scream, or some other kind of movie that came out, some VHS tape that we rented, and the Halloween H2O trailer came on and we had no idea it was coming out, and I was like seven. And as soon as it started, before it even got into it, I was like, is this a new Halloween movie? 
My parents were like, how the hell did you know that? But anyway, the Halloween H2O trailer started out with Lori's dream that she has in the beginning of the film. So, I mean, this fight could be a dream. Hence why she's dressed exactly like she was in the original. Because I find that very, very odd. A little too weird for my taste to be dressing her in the same outfit. Again, in my Halloween Kills trailer reaction, I mentioned how I felt a lot of the callbacks that they do in these new films are a little cheesy and cheap. And... I don't know, out of place. I just can't take a lot of these callbacks seriously and I just feel like if we are to take this chunk of the franchise seriously, a lot of these little callbacks and things that they've done in these films are just not helping. I feel that following Rob Zombie's Halloween, especially the first one, two, you guys already know how I feel about Rob Zombie's Halloween too. I liked Rob Zombie's Halloween a lot. I feel like it was done well and it took itself seriously. This chunk of the franchise, I cannot take seriously for five seconds and it's very disappointing. I really tried with Halloween Kills though and I did enjoy that one more than Halloween 2018. Ah, I'm just really not okay with this trailer right now because either it was a dream which is it is what it is, and that would be just really dumb to make a whole entire trailer just based on a dream in the movie. And if it's not a dream, they just gave a lot away, and I'm not happy about it. In the slightest. At all. So, I'm gonna put these headphones back on, and we're gonna watch it again, and I'm gonna just talk through it and point out things that I didn't notice the first time around, but yeah, I'm really not happy about this, not happy about this at all. Now there's gonna have to be another extended trailer that comes out before the film. There has to be. This can't be it. This is just a teaser. This is a teaser trailer. Has to be. If not, then we are being cheated. Of course, I love the callback here, you know, going up the stairs, but from then on, it's just so bad. Let's go. Come and get me, motherfucker. Yeah, this, this feels very H2O to me now, especially with the garbage disposal bit. Very H2O with that callback, which, I mean, finally H2O gets some kind of appreciation and acknowledgement because I really liked H2O, as weird as that sounds to most people, because for some reason the fans just really don't like it. I don't know if it's because it took place in California or if it's because it negated four through six. I don't know. I really do appreciate the H2O callbacks, but... I am not okay with seeing so much of this fight between Laurie and Michael unless this is something that happens in the middle of the film or way earlier on. Obviously we don't see her fate, but my prediction is that Michael is going to kill Laurie, which is going to make me mad all over again like I was 12 years old with Halloween Resurrection, which was a big traumatic event that I'm never going to get over, okay? Thanks. Thank you for that. Okay, I still don't, I don't appreciate it. I'm still not going to ever get over it, thank you. Anyway. So I predict that Michael's gonna kill Lori in this film and that Allison is going to be the heroine, the lone survivor of the family. Unless Karen just makes some kind of huge return, which I said that she wouldn't redeem herself for me in my Halloween Kills trailer reaction. I said that Karen had no way of redeeming herself, but I was a little bit wrong. I started to like her a little bit more when I watched Halloween Kills, so I don't know, you guys. I really don't know. I don't know about this. They didn't give us enough. They g <laughs> the thing is, they gave us so little and, and also too much at the same time, if that makes sense. They gave us too little of any other parts of the film and way too much of the stuff that we should not have seen. That's my take on it. <sighs> I just really wanted to hop on here and quickly react to this trailer. I'm still hoping that Halloween Ends will be the best installment of this part of the franchise, but my hopes aren't high. My hopes are not high right now, and as a Halloween fan, that makes me really sad, but... We're gonna see. And please let me know if you guys would like any other horror-related content because that is a huge part of my life, horror movies. So when I'm not focused on Halloween content and other seasonal fun festive videos, I would love to sprinkle 
some some horror videos in there if that's something you guys are interested in. Please let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the Halloween Ends trailer. Do you feel like it gave a little bit too much away? Are your hopes high? Are you excited? Are you disappointed? What are your predictions? I would really love to start a conversation in the comments, so please let me know. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to see more content like this in the future. Halloween is right around the corner, so please keep a lookout for all of my Halloween content that is to come. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.